The latest version of Visual Studio 2022, 17.13, adds a new feature to easily extract HTML from Razor files into separate components. This is really nice when you want to clean up your code when you're working in the large Razor files. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here I have my tiny shop application that has a bunch of products here. Now, whenever I reload and refresh this, we get a little tiny loading message here. And that's a component that could really be optimized per se. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. We'll go ahead and stop the application. And the first thing we're gonna note is that I have, if products equals null, then I have the loading here. I also have a table underneath with different products that are being looped over. Now what's great is that I can highlight this code or select the first element and I can do quick actions. And it's gonna give me an option to extract the element to a new component. Additionally, I could control dot. And I would bring up the same exact menu here. I can now extract this to a new component and we can see that all the different items have been brought over for me, such as loading here, which is really nice. It's created a component.razor, which I of course can rename if I'd like to, so maybe like loading. But now let's go back to the products and we can see that, that code has been updated. That's nice, so maybe I want to reuse that loading elsewhere. Now at this point, I could, I don't know, maybe refactor this and I could maybe use Copilot, for example, to make this look a little bit nicer. So let's say, let's make this a spinner uh, centered for loading. And I could select a different model if I want, maybe Claude, for example. This will now take a look at this component and then it will go ahead and refactor this code. And to me, this is really nice working in separate component sort of files here because it enables me to easily just add a little bit of code and preview it in line, for example, here and accept it without having to change all the code inside the file. All right, this is looking pretty good. So let me go ahead and start it up again. And what we'll see is that now my separate component has been added over here. When I go into products, I have a nice loader. Let's go ahead and look at it one more time. Beautiful. And that's how Visual Studio 2022, 17, 13, it enables you to extract those different HTML components into separate files with just a few clicks. Make sure you update Visual Studio to the latest 17.13 or newer, and I'll add links into the show notes below so you can find out all the different features in the latest version. That's gonna do it for this quick tip. So make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you stay up to date with everything we're doing right here on the .NET YouTube. Thanks for watching.